what up? It's your boy Wiz Khalifa, man. This is Misha the Jewelry. It's your boy Chris Stowe. This is Trap Wake. Because, man, it's your boy Tay Cummins. Here's Center Two Flash. It's your boy Chevy Woods from the Taylor Gang. What up? It's Chew Jackson. It's your boy Looty Boy. Girl Renair on the way. It's your boy DJ Girl Quick Plan. And now you're kicking it with the Bird Boys. I know what to do. No, it's the Bird Boys. Thank you guys for everybody yeah, that's we're, tuned in. Shout out to y'all for listening. We are live. Vibes in the air. Good smoke vibes. in the air. You know what I'm saying? The cool vibes in the air. Yeah, smoke. <laughs> Hold on, you meant... Smoke is a vibe, bro. It is a vibe. You're yeah, right. It's so, a real vibe, right? right? Yeah. What kind of vibe is it, G? Mm. Smoke is like a real chill vibe. Okay. Mm. Smoke is like is. a real lonely vibe. That's what came Even when you're smoking with people. Because uh, when I smoke, I think about massive uh, shit. That's bro. why I don't smoke in public. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, like, I mean, I think a vibe is. No, smoking you know, is a like setting, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. This, is a good, this, is a good, oh. this is a good setting for for a vibe to happen. <laughs> right? It does bring different people terminology. Together. I feel like I should have It's a Vibe ready right now. You know? mm. Shout nope. out to so uh, Miss Espoo for being here with us. Miss Espoo. Oh, thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming. So can you um can you tell everybody what you do? What you where they can find you? I am Espoo, which is the queen of everything. Um, I can't put myself in a box because I am a business owner. Um, I do work with children. I am an author. And most foremost, I am a music artist. So, yeah, I do a lot. That's dope. So you've you've written books? Yes, I have two books that I wrote. And they're both... <laughs> <laughs> Y'all faces, how you look at it. Okay. I was and like, they're wow. both uh, published. I'm a self-published author, so Good I do have you. two books out there. And, and the reason why I look so shocked is because, I mean, although it's it's not rocket science, <laughs> writing a book is hard work. It is hard work. Dedication. It's, Dedication. It's real. So That's how long did it, you know, what was the process for you? Um. Well, for my first book, it took me probably all of like seven months to complete and then once I got the hang of that because like I said I self-published so I kind of learned the system of how I created you know what the content have to be like the book sizing all that different stuff I learned like the back work of it so once I figured that out like writing a book is nothing to me because like I said I'm a writer I'm an artist so it's like writing music it's all poetry it all falls in line and then from working with kids so I write self-empowerment books for mostly women but my second book was uh, all age read so I write self-empowerment books for people who just looking for like daily empowerment you know yeah, stuff like that that's awesome so it's easy to me it might be hard for someone else but it's easy now Right, yeah, it just, it <laughs> comes super to you. dope. That's so you, did you have to like figure out the all that stuff yourself, like yourself taught? Yes, like, so like yes. The, the so actual, like the like copyright, like, the, like the, the publishing, um, getting it up on like Amazon, Kindle, actually having it on my own website. You know, creating just the residual, you know, revenue behind it. Like I yeah. had to figure out that whole backside of it. Yeah, that's that's, and it's all self taught. Like you know, like y'all was saying earlier, Google. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Google is my homie. And, and, yeah. Google and was the middleman to everything. Yeah, like Google. And that's Google. that's to be like to be honest. That's how we are with this whole radio. Yeah. We, we have YouTube. the radio, internet, YouTube, the whole yeah. YouTube, like everything's self-taught. So I mean, yeah, it's it's pretty cool. Yeah. And and that's just a completely different subject. And on top of that, you're into music, which is yeah. which is awesome. Um, yeah. what what so what what kind of music do you listen to? Um. On the regular. Like, right now, what's one of your favorite songs? Are you put me on the spot. <laughs> yeah. So, on a regular, I listen to R&B. Mm -hmm. So, I will admit, I have an old soul, you know. Um, yeah. So, I'm still listening to, like, Charlie Wilson. He's, like, somebody I listen to every day. So, like, his my favorite song from him is Chills. Yeah. Um, I listen to Stokely. Uh, my favorite song from him is Levels. Um, when it comes to rapping, um, I'm into 3D Nati. She's from New Orleans. So, I like, like, conscious music. Things that I could, like, learn from, you know, or just li I like to listen to other people's stories and kind of, like, learn and grow from their experience, things like that. Um and that's pretty much it. Like, I'm really just into, like, R&B. So when I start my day off, it's always, like, some motivational type of music, you know, singing, getting my soul and my vibrations going up like that. Is that the genre of music that you make? Is no, it's what? not. So what do you make? I can, right? I don't, like I said, <laughs> I don't put myself in a box. Yeah, what do and, you prefer to make? Um, well, right now I'm actually playing with a lot. 
right now. I will say I'm like I'm actually I just produced my first beat. So I'm really like trying to figure out like, uh, you know, what music I actually really want to create. But my past history of music, you know, I was a rapper. Like I made a lot of rap music, kind of trap because I do come from the streets, you know. So that was just my background. So that's kind of what I was making when I was out here, like going hard. But um, right now, I'm more like focused on like uplifting my kids. Like so everything that I create right now is anything that children can listen to and that can actually help them get through some things. So that's what I make music for right now. Awesome. That's dope. Yeah, that's that's awesome. That's and fantastic. money, I'm really into money. I'm like <laughs> obsessed with money and business. So, <laughs> look, a lot of my uh, music, like the content, is like money. that yeah. money. That's okay, <laughs> well, that's, that's all right. <laughs> but you're speaking, you're speaking on it from a point of view where it empowers them to. Right, you know, you know I just business. want the money. That's it. I yeah. mean, and I'm helping people along the way. You know, do my deed and my service. But let's be honest, we all got one goal, and that's. You know, yeah. what our one goal of that we have in common is to be financially secure. Absolutely. And that's, you know, so when I say I just want the money, I mean, like, financially secure. Yeah. And um, where where are you from in Pittsburgh? Did you grow up in Pittsburgh? Yeah, I'm straight so from Pittsburgh. Look, where, I'm straight from the bird. You where, know? Whereabouts in Pittsburgh? East, east, I'm from the west side. West side? Okay. I'm from the west side, so yeah. I'm a west side girl. I live cool. all over the west side, so, you know, OE, you know. So, people yeah. like that, we go way back, so... Um, who else? I don't know who else is in that, music. I don't really pay attention, but no, you know, I'm just cool. saying, oh, because no, we're yeah. good way, way back. Yeah. Like, I mean, most yeah. of the artists in the game, like I know personally, most of them. But other than that, like you know, no, I'm I just always I. like to you know get a an, an idea of what what side of the city everyone's from. Yeah. You know, so and um, when did you start writing? Like, I mean, you were obviously you're an author. You mm-hmm. you're into rap and and mm-hmm. writing you know songs. Um. What what age were you when you when you first started? Eleven. Eleven. And I and I know that specifically because I still remember like half of my rap from when I was eleven. It was corny, but <laughs> I remember it. You know, so I was eleven years old when I started get writing some bars? music. You want to give them to us? What that eleven year old? Eleven year old rap right now? Oh, I would get. No, come I'm on. I'm eleven years old. My mom say I like the cold man. I don't remember, but it was because I was like that kid. You know, I'm I out there. I like the cold, right. like that type of stuff. <laughs> yeah, he was I'm right? 11 years old. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. No. So that's when I eat. <laughs> I have to. I mean, we always try to get something. No, he's laughing at bars. <laughs> For real. <laughs> that's that's the, the, I'm like from 11. She said she yeah, remembered him. It was God, like, and I'm telling you, if I wasn't sitting in front of y'all, yeah. I know the whole thing. Yeah. But it was like, you put me on the spot. No, like. it's fine. That's <laughs> fine. It's fine. You work, you're currently working on any projects, like book-wise, uh, music-wise, beat-wise? Because I know you do a lot, so yeah. that's what I'm trying to figure it out. What you currently working on or want to push right now or tell the people about right now? Well, um, I actually, I just dropped a, I wouldn't call it a single. Like, a lot of stuff I fell out. Like, I say they're freestyles, you know. So I just dropped, like, uh, two freestyles not too long ago. Well, I actually dropped three. I dropped um, a freestyle to Meek Mills's. I did a cover to Wins and Losses. Um, I actually just did a cover to Jay-Z's Family Feud. And then I dropped my own project, which is The Goal. And um, all that is up, like, on my music page. So I have my own music page, stuff like that. Um, And then, of course, SoundCloud. I had that Reverb Nation. I have mostly everything you can think of. So what I'm actually working on right now, I've been working on a project since last year in May. So, uh, yeah, like, it's, like, one of those long ones. So when I say, like, I'm producing my own beats and stuff, like, I'm really just playing with them. I'm in no rush, you know. Like, I got a lot of other stuff going on. So music is, uh, that's my fun side of me. So, you know, when I feel like having fun, I dabble in the music, like, that type of thing. She, she's a pro. That was a pro. She's a pro. That was Look dope. at that shit. That was Look dope. at that shit. Espoo, thank you so much for coming. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Espoo. And y'all already know who I'm rocking with, the Berg Boys, every day, all day. Make sure y'all follow them. And follow me. Check us out.